Oh, somebody go screenshot that. Hold on, I'm tripping. I'm, I just thought about that. Somebody go screenshot that. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's LeJune here, and I'm back at it with another video. And as you guys see in today's video, we have some exciting things that were just revealed to us. We know when uh, Square Enix present is going to happen. And in this, we're going to get some things about Black Panther. So this is going to be pretty exciting. So before we get into the video, if you guys go to enjoy it and you guys liked it, and if you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys that like button. Now, what I further do, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so if you guys have not been living under a rock, you guys will know that Square Enix Presents will be at E3 2021 on June 13th, which is basically a Sunday. Now, Avengers has tweeted out that they will be attending this event. Now, in this tweet, they stated that we'll be getting a glimpse of upcoming events that are coming to the game, and also, we'll be getting our glimpse at for War for Wakanda with Black Panther expansion. So, it's going to be pretty insane of what we might see. Now, to be honest, in this video, we'll be stating like what we might see and how important this is for Avengers overall. Now, we have to set our expectations right when it comes to this. We can, you know, of course, we can be hyped for it and everything, but we have to set our expectations right. Now, the thing that we might end up seeing from the, uh, the Square Enix Presents for Avengers when it comes to Black Panther wise, nine times out of 10, we're going to be receiving a trailer for it. And the next thing we might end up seeing is a release date. And the last thing possibly, possibly is gameplay. As you guys know, if you remember uh, for the war tables for um, Hawkeye, you know, they basically like show like little small clips of gameplay, you know, just showing off like his assault abilities, heroic and uh, ultimate and all that. I think we might get something like that. But honestly, I think they might save that for like a war table, uh, you know, stream itself for Black Panther uh, later when he gets closer to release. But yo, those are the three things I think we might end up getting uh, when it comes to the Square Enix Presents. Uh, we might be getting a trailer for them, a release date, and gameplay possibly. Now, the second thing is on how big this is for Avengers. Because you guys know, currently right now, there's nothing like really important on the roadmap than you know, the expansion for Black Panther. Now, of course, we got Cosmic Cube coming out this month. And we also got patrol mode coming out whenever and the last thing is black panther uh, the expansion now expansions all are like a load of content now they basically stated themselves they stated that black panther the expansion will be coming with the most content the game has ever seen since the game launched and of course when the game launched the game you know itself when it first first came out it had a lot to do so if they said that, that the Black Panther, um, if you know, expansion is going to be something like that, then hey, I'm all for it to be honest, because that's what the game is honestly missing. It's just missing content and of course a few reworks here and there. So honestly, I'm pretty excited for this. I cannot wait to see what they do with the uh, Black Panther event, to be honest. And of course, as you guys know, when expansions expansions can be a big deal for some games uh for a game for example i could just bring up destiny one if you guys remember back then in the day for destiny when the taken king expansion came out especially with the raid and all the things that came with that just overall uh, expansion for taken king it was big for the game it was like if you guys remember back then for destiny one when taken king came out it was big for the game so for this one i feel like this can be the same result for avengers if they execute it right now, of course, you know, they got to give, you know, of course, when it comes to Black Panther, like combat wise and all that, I feel like they're not going to disappoint with that because combat, that's something they don't disappoint on, to be honest. So I'm not worried about that. The thing I am kind of worried about is how they're going to do the content because they basically stated that this will be the most content drop we ever seen uh, for, you know, uh, the game since the game first launched. So I have to, we got to see what they do with that one, to be honest. So, you know, at the end of the day, we have to see. Um, I will be live streaming this 100% on June 13th. It is going to be on a Sunday, 12.15 um, p.m. Pacific time. So if you got, you know, if you guys don't know what that is, just look it up. Put it all on your time, your time zone calculator, I guess you could say. And just see what time it starts for you. Because I will be live streaming this 100%. So I will, I'll let y'all know when I'll go live streaming so we can uh, get this rolling up. But, um, yeah, that is basically it. And, of course... Uh, we got the world premiere from Idols Montreal. Now, nine times out of ten, we already know what it is, y'all. 
we know is probably going to end up being the Guardians of the Galaxy game. So that's two Marvel games that we going to be end up getting, which is pretty dope. I get away for it. To be honest, what well, we got to see. Not, I mean, not time is going to be the Guardians of the Galaxy game, but you know, we just got to wait to, for it to officially, officially be out. Then we could, you know, go crazy with it. But that's pretty dope having two Marvel games at once. That's that's pretty dope. That's some guys. But hey, you know, let me know in the comments how do you guys feel about this? How do you guys feel about the Black Panther that we're actually going to be getting some information and glimpse a first glimpse of it overall on June thirteenth? Uh, let me know uh, what do you guys think will be end up being shown? Do you guys feel like we might end up getting uh, the release date? Do you didn't feel like we're going to get some gameplay? You know, screenshots, all that type of, that type of jazz. You know, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it and you know what you guys think is going to end up being shown but uh yeah that is the end of today's video i really guys enjoyed it uh before we head out if you guys are not make sure you guys subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on post notifications never miss a video and also be notified when i upload a video and most importantly make sure you guys hit that like button now of course as you guys know i do have a discord so if you guys want to join that discord it's called the june cave go up here everything dealing with malls avengers got them nice outriders just games in general especially with e3 coming around we're gonna have a lot more games to talk about so if you guys want to come and join that the link is below for that one as well now of course i do stream on twitch you know that's why i stream i'll be going crazy and i will be streaming the square Enix presents on uh that day as well on sunday on june 13th so if you guys want to come out to the stream and just chill and vibe especially when uh we get to the square Enix presents you know make sure you guys hit that follow button on my twitch the link is below for that one as well now, also, I do have memberships on the channel. So, if you guys want to know more information about the memberships, uh, I do have information about that below. But I want to give a quick shout out to the elite members and the rookie members. I greatly, greatly appreciate it for y'all being memberships on the channel. I really, really do. But, um, yes, yeah, Lejeune here. But, do you guys new to this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. Peace.